2. Nested if statement. There, if else statements can also have other if else statements within their bodies. It is called nested if. The structure of the nested if statement is as follows. If condition, then do something. Else if condition, then do something. Else do something. And if. When the condition is found to be true, the code associated with condition will trigger. For example, in a new file type, example 1, CLS, if 5 more than 10, then print 5 is greater than 10, else print 5 is not greater than 10. And if the output will be, example 2, print Enter full fare, input fare, print enter age, input age, calculate discount based on age. If age less than 12, then let rate is equal to 0, 0.0. Else if age less than 24, then let rate is equal equal to 0 0.70 else if age less than 65 then let rate equal to 1.0 else let rate equal to 0 0.75 and if calculate fare print your fare is fare asterisk rate End. 3. Select case statement. Select case statements work like if statements. The difference is that the select case statement can make the code simpler to read and they work faster than if statements. Its syntax is as follows. The components of a select statement are text expression. It is the name of the variable to be checked. Case, value. The possible set of values expected to be entered by the user for the text expression. Case, else. It describes the default statement to be executed if no matching case value is entered by the user. Select case. Text expression. Case, value 1. Statement block 1. Case. Value 2. Statement block 2. Case else. Statement block 3. And select. Example. REM. REM program to print the day of the week. A. Input. Enter the number of the day of the week. 1 to 7. D. Select case D. Case 1. Print Monday. Case 2. Print Tuesday. Case 3. Print Wednesday. Case 4. Print Thursday. Case 5. Print Friday. Case 6. Print Saturday. Case 7. Print Sunday. Case else. Print wrong entry. And select. B. Looping statement. When set of instructions are repeatedly executed a fixed number of times, it is termed as a loop. To make interesting and efficient programs, you can make QBasic to execute a part of a program more than once. This is called looping. In QBasic, we can run a part of the program over and over again with the go-to command. But there are some alternate ways 
to loop the program also. One of them is the for next command. 